Yes, I restarted. Yes. Hello everyone, I'm So Young Lee, the youngest curator at Jungkook Prehistory Museum. Our director Han Young Lee has urgent governmental meeting, so from now on, I'm going to explore and explain our museum with this camera. Hello. That is a Jungkook Prehistory Museum. It looks like spaceship or ameba or, well, what you think? It opened on April 25th, 2011, 10 years old next year. When you, what you see in the floor is graffiti. It was painted by famous Korean graffiti writer named Jeba. It's an annual project. So if you come to our museum next year, it will be changed. There is a small pond. In that pond, many kinds of fish like lives in groups. Okay. In Korea, the weather is so hot. Let's move into museum faster. Can you see that stairs? Cross the stairs and it's a Jeonggongli site. Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19, our museum is closed until June 14th. Maybe it could be longer, you know, but especially open to you guys. Let's go inside. This is a hand sanitizer. Every building in Korea has sanitizer in entrance because preventing COVID-19, uh, COVID sorry. <clears throat> this is visitor checking system using QR code. So we really into our museum. That is information desk. There are only two or three steps originally. Look, our museum has two floors. This is the first basement floor, okay? We go upstairs for seeing exhibitions. There are so many stairs. I'm hungry. This is campaign sticker for social distancing. And more stairs. Welcome to Jungkook Paleolithic Age. This is our main floor. That is museum shops. And there's cafe. Beautiful terrace. Beautiful. And let me introduce our museum's handsome curator. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Sim. Hi, Mr. Sim. Uh, I will introduce our, our activity zone. Just follow me. OK. Uh, here is the Interscope. The Interscope is a newly remodeled culture complex in 2018. The motif here is the spaceship of future. Uh, like this, uh, as a good design, it won the US IDEA Design Award in last year. It is the first case of the Korean museums. Yeah. This place is the open to the all family visitors and free to use in exhibition and educational program. Ah, this is VR. This VR is about the evolution of the mankind. Uh, we did a lot of research for the unmanned system, but unfortunately, uh, now it's 
stopped it because of Corona-19. Maybe next two months, we will start again. The mammoth fossil. It was uh, found in Siberia. Uh, and it was made like a special ship for the fun of the exhibition. And then do the digital puzzle can also used. Oh, no, no, it's, it turned off. Sorry. <laughs> Look at Terras. Uh, the terrace is offer an outdoor view of the museums. It is good for resting place for the fathers <laughs> because the, their children are reading books or the playing games and the fathers are resting in here. This is our the open lab. The open lab is a children's library can, that can be used with families and visitors and can freely enjoy. And so many science books in here. And we also do the educational programs in here. Perfect for the family. This is the Iceman watch. So originally in placed in the Italy, uh, we copy that and uh, uh, do show the, the copies and they show the materials for the, the Korean peoples. In here, we, the, we are the experimenting with the future of the museums by the two exhibitions and educations and relaxation at the same time. Okay, uh, next, enter the small activity of the, our museums. So here, the here is the PHX art section. Uh, we we use it for the variety of purpose, uh, from the modern art to the uh, education resort. Now in day, uh, now we doing the exhibition about the Nepal. Uh, last year we did an academic survey in Nepal, so this exhibition is a report on it. And I uh, hear that. Uh, The, he is our the director of our museums. <laughs> the, uh, we make uh, the photojohn to the people, so we always uh, prepare for the family visitors. Uh, we do the, this kind of small exhibition about the five times in every year, and it is a good opportunity to introduce the activity of the museums. Oh, and now let me introduce the next section. This is our educator, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hello. Now, our museum, um, let me introduce the teaching materials. This is uh, education workbook. Oh. Open the book. Um, this picture is a pattern of Zhang Gongli hand axe and sticker, voodoo mm. and art. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Children are having fun. Mm. This is obsidian necklace making cap near Mac Obsidian. Okay. Oh. Do you know Lion Man Germany? <laughs> <laughs> this is a prehistoric lion mask. Lion. Yes. lion. Yes. It's all for kids? Yes, all for kids. Mm, next, uh, this is a puzzle. Uh, Puzzles. Uh, yes. Human evolution, cave, cave painting, us. Mm. Uh, it's funny. Puzzle. Wow. Mm, next, uh, this is a secret box of Venus. 
various uh, Venus Africa. This is uh, Siberia Malta. Oh, Malta Venus. Uh, okay, oh. Malta. This is France, Brassampri. Oh. So and uh, skull. Skulls? Wow! Wow. Uh, skull, Africa, Ocelopithecus, Homo ergaster, Neanderthal, Sapiens, Skulls. Wow. It's for kids too? Box. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, st near Stone Africa, handles uh, chopper, notch, blade, and blade core. Wow. This is uh, informa oh, information. Information card. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, I will show you our museum signature hand axe. Oh, hi, here again. <laughs> okay, this is uh, this is our the main hand axe of the our museum. Uh, we call the five brothers because it is the this brother is like a friend of first hand axe ever found in Korea. Since it's the first discovery, in many excavations has been made over the, the past 40 years. So this is our main hand axe. By face, hand axe. Okay, next we will look around our the museum's main exhibition hall. Okay. There is a chief curator. Hi, Mr. Yang. Sometimes we talk to ourselves. Who are we and where are we from? So we exhibit the whole progression of human evolution on here. From the early human to Homo sapiens during 7 million years. The human evolution is always revolutionary. Among the thousands of species of animals, only man can walk by two legs, only man can make and use many kinds of tools, only man can write the book and create the arts. So we try to explain the great history of the first stage of ourselves easily to the visitors. Oh, thank you for your explanation. Thank you. This is our permanent exhibition hall. Many children are scared of this place, but I'm an adult. It may be just me. Sometimes I'm scared too. Is it scare scary? This is Homo ergaster. This is Homo erectus. This is Homo erectus too. This is Homo florescens. Florentians, so tiny. This part shows local ecosystems. These are all stuffed animals. Eagle, this is eagle, stuffed animal. And boar, boar and elk and etc. That is a small botanical wall. It will be remodeled soon. Oh, that is our museum's hidden place, the cave. We rec recreated cave as realistic as possible. This is burial of Neanderthal. Oh, scary. Let's go inside. 
This is where the world's most important cave painting are reproduced. Of course, there are cave paintings in Spain. First of all, it's the Chauvet. Chauvet? Yes, in France. Wow. And next here is a penguin. Penguin? Yeah, so cute. <laughs> and this is a jellyfish. Jellyfish? Yes. And this is a hand printing. Wow. In Gosquet in France. Gosque? Yes, Gosque. And then, look at the over there. This is Lascaux Cave. Wow. The bison. And where is the Spanish cave art? Ta -da -da! That, that <laughs> this is, is yes. Artamira Cave. And this is a horse head. Wow. In Artamira too. Wow. Okay? Amazing. It's amazing. Yes. Sp Spain is amazing. A little, little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Wow. Huge, huge mammoth. Children's favorite animal in our museum. And it's Homo sapiens from North Korea, from China, from North Korea too. This is a house in Korean, Bakjip, made of mammoth bones. It needs at least 95 mammoth bones. We made this permanent exhibition hall as realistic as possible. Now we go downstairs to special exhibition hall with bright and kind curator. There she. Hi Kim. Hi Kim. My name is Only this is a special exhibition of the upper Paleolithic uh, around the Jeonggungi. And this one in Korea, Jeonggungi we maul saramdeul. It means people who live in the upper neighborhood of Jeonggongni. Oh. And this graffiti is also Jeba's work. It is about the birth and evolution of life. It is connected with work in the outside graffiti. Starting with the birth of life and going down the stair, you now enter the Paleolithic age. Now, let's go downstairs. Be careful. There are so many stairs yeah. in our museum. <laughs> uh, and this car is very, very colorful. And colorful is in Korea, alok dalok. Alok dalok? Yes. Colorful means alok dalok. Yes, ah, jellyfish again. Oh, jellyfish. <laughs> Same in cave? Yes. Wow, jellyfish. And this bridge is rainbow. Rainbow approaches the main entrance to this exhibition. Look at this. Uh, our exhibition deals with six sites. These sites are around 40,000 to 15,000 years old. This is the site. And this is the Hantan River and dams. Is it dam? Yes, it's dam. Uh, the site was revealed by an excavation survey during the construction of dam in the 2010s. Now, the site has disappeared and just the artifact remains here. It's so sad. Uh, we are very envious and grateful. Grateful. To, for Atacuerica site and yours. And let's go to the mountain. Ooh, this is an imaginary prehistoric camp. We tell the story stone artifact Sien Obertua by this village. It means collecting raw material, napping, and using stone tools and then they leave the camp. 
there we live now. There are mountains, river, houses, and square. The white wave table means Hantan River, and the house is a site. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yes, let's, let's go to the exhibition. This animation shows people of the Paleolithic age picking up stone to make a stone tool and trim tools for the, their lives. You can see the, this video in the, our JGPN's YouTube. Go, go! The remain on display here are related to volcanic activity. People. Paleolithic people could live here because of the rock made by volcanic activity. And then the panel is about the full stone from this site. Top, bajat, top, obsidian, and quartz. The bajat is the bedrock around this area, and the other three are raw material for making stone tools. Especially tough was brought from a mountain near the site. This stone was mainly used to make a blade and microblade and obsidian. Obsidian from mountain back to this stone was mainly used to make a microblade Pekdu Mountain, located between China and North Korea. It is 400 kilometers away from here. Also very far, Paleolithic people brought this precious black stone to this point through exchange. These are remain where the largest number of obsidian have been found in Korea, Paleolithic site. And this is a, another animation for children. This is the children's version of the opening animation. It shows how the late Paleolithic person made and used stone tools. Children like it because it is a cute and love character. The first room is the microblade core. This microblade blade are made by pressure technique and are very small around 3 cm. They were made obsidian, quartz, chart, crystal. And here a video of a napping experimental experiment film. While preparing for the exhibition, we got a obsidian from back to mountain and napped an experiment to make a small stone with a, like a prehistory person. This artifact is obsidian too. And this picture is the same. This artifact changed the color because of the high duration lost, but it's a obsidian. Next is the blade room. It is a blade and flake and blade core. It made of direct percussion technique. Especially there are refit into one. There is also video of the napping experiment film. It is for making a top blade. These artifacts were made through a various technical process during the making blade. It's really pretty, right? Right. <laughs> and this is a totem pole in this exhibition. Totem? Yes, totem poles. Uh, this uh, uh, is a retouched tool 
the research tool is displayed in six sections. It's like a jewel to me. <laughs> we divided them according to the type of work, not the typology. The work of drilling and cutting, graving, splitting, scrubbing, and tanning. And this is the experimental film for making retouching tools. Shall we take a look? This make a tangent point. The next room is the town square. After prehistory person left, another people came here. There is uh, the representative site layer. And this is an interview video. You can listen to the story of the excavated people. And this is excavation report. Very thick. Many archaeologists have tried to study the site like yours. And this is an experience table for children. Children can touch this tool. And it can be to turn to the matching. If you choose the tangent point and you turn this first and choose this one and success. Wow, the last corner has two by face. The gray is upper paleolithic by face and the other is by face from around the Jonggongni. The two by face are high five to each other. It's kind of a pattern touch. Because of next year is the 10th anniversary of the museum's opening. At that time, we plan to exhibition about Jonggongni by face. I hope you can come here to and the special exhibition is over. <laughs>
there's an experience center where visitors can build their own house in Paleolithic people's way. Okay. It's a place where visitors can see the house that when architectural techniques were not good as nowadays. Yes. It's process making a house by tree. Korean name Makjip. Makjip. Our museum has many igloos. Yes. Educational room. Yes. Oh. Be careful, it's the cornering. <laughs> 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 oh. That is video studio. Oh, it's yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> Our YouTube contents are made in there. Yes. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. Yes, please. Search <laughs> JGPM in the YouTube search box. Hungry. <laughs> okay. This is a place where fanatic people try hunting tours. We use various uh, hunting tours such as uh, um, atlatl, spear, and slingshot to hunt paleotic animals in front of them. So, let's start hunting. Go, go! Go, go! <laughs> oh. Visitors also can this experience. Is this a real uh, Paleolithic hunting method? Yeah. Wow. It's a very famous education program. Oh. Popular? Yes, very popular. Mm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a slut. Last, let's shoot. Oh. Wow, <laughs> success. Let's go! We are going back to starting point. This is a performance. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We're going back to the starting point. Beautiful sunset. Yes. Our museum is 
museums over there. It looks so beautiful. So many igloo is here. Wow, Lemos family. Is it beautiful? Huh? Yes. The museum is shiny. How many visitor, visitors come in a year? Mm. 200,000 uh, people, maybe. The next is year. Okay. Okay, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> We're going back to starting point. Hey. <laughs> we hope everybody to stay strong and healthy. When the virus is, is over, we hope you will come to our museum someday. We are waiting for you. Thank you for exploring so far. Bye. 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 Animo. 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 Bye. 안녕. 안녕. In Korean, 안녕. 안녕. Bye. <laughs>